Welcome to Body Buddies, home of the Power Foods lifestyle. Take it one meal, one workout, one day at a time. And now, here's the founder of Body Buddies, Christy Joe. Hey, Body Buds, I'm Christy Joe. Welcome to the Body Buddies podcast. For those who are new, I am super excited you're here. This is where I teach strategic nutrition, fitness, and mindset. Head over to PowerFoodsLifestyle.com to grab your free copy of my book that is changing hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people's lives. PowerFoodsLifestyle.com. Learn the strategic way to start thinking about food, pairing it wisely, balancing your blood sugar, optimizing your energy without it being a diet. I teach nutrition from a very psychological standpoint and so there's reasons you've probably failed in the past and it's because you haven't had the mindset around how to think about your food. So I would love for you to learn my story where I've overcome over 20 years of disordered eating and now have created a company and books and products and programs to help so many people to overcome this as well. It's my my honor, my privilege to be here and sharing this with you today. Today I'm going to be talking about how to increase your accountability and to follow through. So I am actually sharing the audio from a video I made several years ago. It's kind of funny to hear the change of my voice. Uh, so you will enjoy hearing about the training of the eight week workbook. You can get the workbook on powerfoodslifestyleblog.com forward slash store and I'll give you a few other resources, coupons and the training coming up right here. So buckle up. Again, go get your free copy of the book. You'll get the audio version. You'll get the book. You'll get a digital copy plus some other masterclass bonus trainings. Guys, I just like give this to you on a silver platter. So if you are listening to this and have not taken advantage of it, I'd ask you to think deeply. What is my intent for the energy and longevity of my health? I would love to teach you powerfoodslifestyle.com. Without further ado, let me give you my past self. <laughs> Hey Body Buds, I'm Christy Joe, and I am making this video today to show you how you can use the Power Foods Lifestyle 8 week workbook to help you on your journey to get into a healthy lifestyle. The Power Foods Lifestyle was designed to make this possible for anyone and everyone to learn principles and, and skills in order to make health more of a priority. It's not a diet. Um, you can live it to an extreme, but you, you don't have to. It's basically put into it what you want and benefit from the strategies that have been taken from numerous, numerous, numerous uh, scientific studies. It's, it's all the information that's out there, but everyone takes this and this and this and throws it at you, and I just kind of bring it all together, sum it up for you in one very simple, easy to follow structure. Are you sick of the low energy mid-afternoon crashes? Feeling a bit fluffy in your clothes? And just knowing you should be doing better with your health? Sign up today for Body Buddies 8-Week Challenge. With new groups starting every Monday, you can enroll at any time, whenever you're ready to commit to powering your body. Go at your own pace with the meal plans, workouts, mindset training, and enjoy the uplifting and supportive community in this private group. For less than $10 a week, you can get the most advanced training in lifestyle correction that you can maintain. Go to body-buddies.com to learn more today. Sign up and get a free 15-minute call with Christy Joe to help steer you in the right direction for you. Power your body, one meal, one workout, and one day at a time with the Body Buddies 8-Week Challenge. Now the eight week workbook actually comes as part of that eight week challenge. This challenge I've been refining for years and thousands of people have passed through it from the time I started them in January, 2014. So whether or not you guys have done one before, if you have not done it as of 2017, you need to go through this all new experience, which takes you literally from the past habits of nutrition, fitness, and mindset into reprogramming. It's all about the sustainable mindset, psychology, and most importantly is now there are cooking classes, there is mindset audio trainings, there's so many cool features. So again, if you guys have not done that, head over to powerfoodslifestyle.com forward slash eight week challenge, and that's the number eight. 
So I actually have a cool little offer for you before I get back into this training, which is if you want to just get this workbook separately, I've got a 25% off code for you. So head over to Power Foods Lifestyle blog.com forward slash store or you can just click on the store tab in the menu use the code podcast p-o-d-c-a-s-t to save 25 percent off anything in the power foods store even now saying it, i'm like what am i doing that's crazy so yeah podcast save 25 percent that includes apparel the workbook ripped and shredded program uh, the, the paperback book, everything. Go check it out. There's a lot of fun things on there, including the PFL starter kit, the transformation kit. So powerfoodslifestyleblog.com forward slash store. Use the code podcast. All right, guys, let's get back to the training. And you can save that to your hard drive, print it, and use it as many times as you need in the future. I like to uh, take mine to my local printer and have them print it and then I, I get mine wire bound. Well, I guess that's technically called a coil. Um, but this, uh, to have it bound like this, it's anywhere from five to $10. And I like it because it's a lot easier to carry around with me. I get the plastic cover on the top, this, um, so it's see-through here. Um, so that may be something you choose to do or you can put a three hole punch in it, put it in a three ring binder. That's something that a lot of my clients and uh, people who are on the eight week challenge, what they're doing as well. So here, um, actually when I printed this for myself, I forgot to do the cover page. So my first page is actually the instructions. So here I've basically told you how to use this, the Power Foods Lifestyle, um, what it is. It's basically a compilation of uh, all the science as well as a lot of my anecdotal evidence based on working with so many people as well as myself. Um, it's designed for your success. So this gives you accountability and progress. Um, it's going to give you a place for weekly goals, for daily accountability. It's uh, going to have a reading assignment and uh, you may feel like you're in school again. Um, but here I say, why am I giving you a reading assignment? And the fact of the matter is this, those who absorb themselves in learning about the powerful lifestyle are those who not only follow through with their lifestyle change, but they gain the tool of knowledge to be able to help others get going as well. I truly have found that those who really immerse themselves in the, the information I put out there, in the Facebook, in Instagram, in the books, um, I've just recently got the podcast going, um, those who immerse themselves are, are those that find that this is actually is very simple. It, is a transition period into it so please don't expect it to just be easy overnight um, that's why i designed this for eight weeks that's what i have found for most people it takes for them to say ah i get it so give yourself eight weeks use the workbook to help you through the process um, and then it's also based on rewards so we all like rewards and so um, that is a part of this okay so this page, Accountability and Progress, um, you have a week here for, for each week. At the end of it, you'll go and track your progress. So I've given you a place to record what was the biggest triumph of the week, then what was the biggest obstacle of the week, and then how many points you earned. So this is a way for you to look back at a glance and say, okay, how am I doing? Um, you know, we all have those days where we feel kind of down and we feel like, oh, none of my work is worth it. I've blown it all, blah, blah, blah. This gives us a chance to really record how well we are doing. Um, it also gives us a pattern of behavior uh, to, to really observe. So we may see that some of the same obstacles are coming up. We may see that some of the uh, same triumphs are coming up. So we can use this in our analysis of our lives. And as we look at how to improve, uh, we can see if there's some patterns and then we can better uh, strategize to overcome those things. Then here, uh, this is a place for you to put your measurements. And uh, I, I just up here put the date. So then you measure, measure chest, waist, hips, inner thigh, lower quad, calves, biceps, shoulders, and then your weight. Now weight is on the bottom because that's the least important. That really is. Number one most important measuring tool is your energy levels. Number two most important measuring tool, how your clothes fit. Number three, your measurements. Number four, your weight. I will tell you after having worked with so many people, this is not the quick fix, okay? For some people, yes, yes, the weight slides right off. 
other people, we are undoing so much damage that has taken place in their body, levels of insulin resistance. Um, the fact is when you've yo-yo dieted or not cared for your health, your body will be less responsive and it just takes more time and consistency before we start to see those results. So please just be patient, stick with it. And at the end of the day, think, is it better for me to live this lifestyle, know that I'm doing the very best for my body I can and not see results? Or would I rather live a life of freedom and, and eat whatever I want, feel like garbage and have my body act like garbage? Even if you looked the exact same, that's something to really consider. And that's a little trick our minds play on us. So consider that as we go through this. Um, really quickly, just a note on all the different measurements. I would like you to only measure the right side of your body. And the only reason for that is so that we, we stay consistent. So, you know, we are all kind of asymmetrical. We want to work for being perfectly proportionate and symmetrical, but um, at the end of the day, most of us are all slightly off. So just choose one side, stick with it for consistency, and do not measure, do not weigh for more than once a week. There's just no need to, because the fact is your body is evolving. It evolves from where you are now to where you're going to be. I mean, your body didn't get to where you are right now just overnight like that, so why do we all of a sudden expect it to go back to what we want it to be overnight? Nope, you've got to put the variables in your body. You've got to put all of the different things we need um, out there so your body can evolve into that. Okay, let's turn the page. So then we have a place for weekly goals. So you can see I've done a little bit here for myself. So I put the dates up here, and then here I've put a mental discipline goal. So we want something very specific, very uh, doable, something measurable. So what I put down was don't allow any room for complacency. Um, you know, instead of thinking like, oh, I'm doing great. Uh, I'll be fine. This little bit won't hurt me. Um, it's not about the fact that it won't hurt you. It's the fact of am I a disciplined person or not. Nutrition goal. For me, it was only have one indulgence meal with sugar. Um, so just try and take it to that next level. Um, so I actually allow myself two indulgence meals a week as a regular basis unless I am preparing for something which is these days pretty commonplace for me. It's either a photo shoot or a videography session or um, a competition. So I am constantly having to um, do a lot of manipulation back and forth with myself personally and it's kind of hard but we, we make it happen. Now I will just on that note, I will say as when I don't have anything going on, any kind of uh, event I'm preparing for, um, or maybe in your case, like if you had a vacation or some kind of a deadline that you wanted to achieve a goal by, that is when this type of tracking comes in very, very helpful. Uh, so for me, if I'm like two, three weeks out from a photo shoot and I want to just really dial it in, uh, then I'm using this to track. If I'm kind of off for a month, I'm going to not use this just because I want that mental escape from being, you know, this is my life. So, <laughs> so anyway, that's just, just consider everything you have going on as you use this workbook and, and use it for when you're really going to try and be disciplined. Because if we try and do this when we're not in that frame of mind, it can be more, um, it can just be more of a burden rather than a blessing. So be sure you're using it when you're saying, let's go, let's achieve this goal. Okay, then we have an exercise goal. So for me, mine was have four sessions of true HIIT training, high intensity interval training. Um, so to me, that says that week I set that goal, I must have been a little bit lazy in my HIIT sessions. So I was gonna up my ante there and, and bring my best. Then there's a reading assignment for the week. So this one was pages one through 24, the introduction and a healthy lifestyle. Now uh, for you, if you've read the book, I would encourage you to review it. It's, uh, I find that people who go back and read it three to four times, they're telling me, I just, I pick up things that I didn't get before. And as you are more experienced in the Power Foods lifestyle, you'll still continue to have light bulb moments. So I would encourage you to read, whether it's in one sitting, whether it's a little chunk a day, uh, just be your best there. Then here you're gonna plan, I will have my indulgence meal on blank for meals blank and blank. So if you've watched the self-training videos, you're going to know that we have one indulgence meal. Well, you can have one to two, um, but you plan and it, it knocks out two of your meals. So you'll have four meals, normal Power Foods Lifestyle meals, and then, uh, and then we have our indulgence meal. The key for that is to plan it. 
if you just leave it to, oh, whatever happens, oh, and then what happens with a lot of people is uh, they'll eat something outside of what they thought, and then they say, well, I guess that's my indulgence meal. And uh, while, well, yeah, that that's fine, I would rather you, for the sake of your mindset, uh, really try and plan for those things. You're going to be a little bit healthier about it when you do that. Record your journal entry here. You can write anything about how you're feeling, the progress you're seeing, what you want to see, um, any of your challenges. But I do find that introspection time helps people a lot. Uh, those who kind of just shut it all down, they, they don't experience the true understanding of themselves. I know this sounds super zen and like, I don't know, just out there. But, but uh, it is very important for us as human beings to look inside and to see what's going on and not be afraid to pull those feelings out and address them because that's what a lot of people, uh, maybe you, may have struggled with in the past is, is not knowing how to deal with those emotions, those events, those triggers that make us turn to foods that we know are not the best for us. Okay, and that's the case, is that most of us know we shouldn't, we shouldn't be eating this, but we do it anyway, right? So this gives us the chance to look at why are you tired? Are you bored? Are you stressed? Are you lonely? What could it be? And learning to deal with those emotions in a healthier way. Here you have your points goal. Um, every day you have, you can get, let's see how many points. You can get one point here. One, two, three, four, five, six. You get another goal or another point for exercise, so that's seven. Another point for your water intake, so a total of eight points per day that you can get. So that would be eight times seven is 56. So you could get a total of 56 points. So then you just kind of uh, decide where am I going to try and hit my mark. Put your goal there. And then you are going to write a reward for reaching your goal. Um, mine was that I would be able to buy a, a pair of socks that I've been really wanting. So it, I would encourage you to not make it food. Uh, whether it's monetary value, whether it's I'm going to allow myself 30 minutes in the bathtub with a good book. Um, or I'm going to, you know, maybe maybe you have a spouse or a significant other that you say, you know, I'd like to really achieve this goal. Do you mind if I work hard enough and I achieve this? You know, who's to say that they wouldn't be willing to give you a foot massage? Okay, or that they wouldn't be willing to do the dishes for a week. Who knows? You know, use your imagination there and, uh, and, and let other people help you reach your goals. And then finally, we have a place here for recipes and meal prep ideas to try that week. You may see something on my Facebook or Instagram. You may see something elsewhere that uh, you say, you know, that looks really good. But how often do we see those things and we forget? And then it never happens, does it? Um, so that's a great place to, to put those ideas down so as the week goes on, you can refer back to them. If there's a new seasoning that you want to be sure and buy, you're going to take your book to the store, bada bing, bada boom, you got it in your cart. Okay, on a daily basis, here you'll see a PVCF. So you'll just go ahead and circle the components, the macronutrients that are in that meal. Um, and then you'll just go ahead and write whatever you ate. I like to just write the portion size. Um, don't write the numbers. Just write your portion size in the food and boom, your biggest goal is to get the right balance of macronutrients here. Um, now here I did write times for myself just to make sure and analyze that my meal timing was pretty good. Um, is it perfect? Two and a half, three hours? No. I mean, I have a six, nine, eleven, three. So you can see that one went this little stretch of four. Then I had a post workout at 5 30, 6, 8 to 10 p.m. window there. Um, so there's that. Then you have your water intake. So you check off every for every quarter gallon you're drinking. I have a quote of the day. So this is something that I, I personally find has uh, really developed me into a positive person was memorizing a quote a day. And even if I couldn't memorize it, at least focusing on it for the, the morning, the morning um, that, you know, I, I look at it, I think about it. You don't just see a quote you like, hit the like button on Facebook and move on with your life. I write those down. I put them on index cards and I sit there and I think about it. And do you know what I have found is that when you fuel your mind with these types of positive quotes and uh, theories and, and the words that people have said, they come to your mind in moments where your mind could be weak and they give you strength in a way that other things can't. So I would encourage you to start memorizing quotes. Here you just record your exercise plan um, and that's the thing. Just what is your plan and then if you accomplish it, you get the point. So at the end of the day, you record your total points here 
And then your triumph of the day. What was my triumph that day? Ooh, I had three. I dominated my workout. I had no sugar and I stayed very positive all day. That's what we want. So you do that for each day. And then um, at the end of the week, you know, you just go back and if you hit that goal, then you get to uh, have your reward. And then you move on to the next week and then you set your goals again. And then go back and make sure you fill out um, on that little weekly thing in the front, uh, write down your weekly analysis, this page here. So this will really help you to uh, walk yourself through uh, your transition into the power foods lifestyle. Um, I get a lot of people who are very afraid of this and I just want you to know you're not alone, okay? This is, it is very normal to be terrified. Um, and depending on your background, depending on your experience with nutrition, with exercise, um, and everything you're about to expect of yourself, um, yes, it can be very terrifying. Thinking of change. Change for us as humans is hard, and it's scary, and it's like, ah, we turn away from it if it gets too hard. As humans, we don't want discomfort in our lives. We want to feel comfortable. We want the same old, same old. And uh, think of it like a rubber band, okay? If you never stretch it, guess what? That never changes size. It's never going to become more pliable, more flexible. But if you stretch it and go against that, and it will snap back, but guess what? Eventually, if you do that enough, the, the elasticity of that band will change. That's how you as a person are, whether it's physically, whether it's mentally, you have to push past that point of resistance. So when it gets hard, when you get to that point where you say, I'm, I'm just, I can't do it anymore. This is too hard. This is too much. I promise you, I promise you, promise you, promise you. If you just push a little bit harder, push through that, just one step into that darkness, into that, that point of discomfort, into that point where you say, I'm done. You will find that right there is where the magic lies. Right there is where you change as a person. Right there is where everything changes. It's a game changer stretch past, push past. And when you truly make that happen, you will see the results in your life and in your body. So I want you to know I believe in you. I'm cheering for you. Uh, please let me know how I can help you, whether it's through custom coaching, uh, whether it's through a question that I can answer in a podcast or in another video. Uh, I would love to be there for you. So always, always remember one meal, one workout, one day at a time.